Hello. In the last video, I mentioned René Lalique and Maurice Marino, and I'm going to return to those two names in a little more detail in this session, and also look at the work of the Dome Brothers and their glass studio. Now, René Lalique trained as a gold and silversmith, initially in Paris, but also spent two years at the School of Art in Sydenham, and returned to Paris and began work as a jewellery designer for some prestigious clients, people like Cartier. But he was attracted to glass as a medium, started his own small business and began to experiment with different techniques. Now initially he began producing perfume bottles moulded using the lost wax process. Then expanded into a new factory and began some new lines. René Lalique had his own pavilion for glassware at that 1925 Paris Exposition that has been such a, a theme of these videos and that brought him in a lot of major commissions. He made a series of over 30 car mascots. The style of them is high relief with some finely detailed decoration and it, again it's moulded glass either blown into the mould or pressed into the mould and sometimes it was cast using a stamping press. And his base material is what is known as demi-crystal, 50% lead content. And then achieves opalescent effects by sandwiching white glass between coloured glass. And various decoration methods are used, including painting with enamel and frosting with acid. Amongst his most striking work was for St Matthew's Church in Jersey and it was commissioned by Florence Lady Trent in memory of her husband Jesse Boot who died in 1931. His Jesse Boot of Boots the, the chemist fame and Lalique was working in partnership with a local modernist architect from Jersey a man called Arthur Grayson. St Matthew's had originally been built in 1840 as a chapel of ease in the parish of St Lawrence and the makeover included moulded windows featuring Jersey lilies in this heavy clouded glass and there was a cross, screens, altar rail and communion table and a stunning reridos with four angels. Maurice Marino was born in Troyes, trained as an artist in Paris, returned to his hometown and he had some friends there who ran a small glassworks. He visited and decided that that was where he was going to spend his career and began designing heavy, thick-walled, textured vessels with smoky tints, streaks of colour and air bubbles, deeply acid-etched and abstract geometric pieces. Also what are known as flacone and free form vases and bottles, some with enamel decoration. Now, unfortunately, a lot of Maurice Marino's work was lost in the bombing of Troyes that took place in 1944. The Dome family came to France in 1870. They were refugees from the Franco Prussian War. They ended up in Nancy and decided they would stay there, and they invested in a glassworks. When that business failed, they decided they would take it over themselves, initially producing items that were quite derivative in design, but over time they built a reputation and developed their own techniques and finishes. Typically highly polished, thick-walled, opaque glass, and in the 1920s they're producing some sophisticated moulded vases with etched decoration and many of their designs were by a man better known for his furniture designs. They collaborated with Louis Majorelle. And the decoration of the glass came from air bubbles and either deeply cut or acid etched geometric patterns. And here we have one with a stylized leaping deer, such a popular Art Deco motif. And some of their vases came with wrought iron mounts. And the Dome Brothers 
were one of the hit exhibitors at that International Paris Exposition of 1925 that we keep mentioning. Now next time I'm going to look at Art Deco metalwork. If you've enjoyed this video hit the like and subscribe buttons and click on the notification bell to be informed when the next video is available or you can subscribe by clicking on the rose window over my shoulder.